We have made an arrest in the Fairmount Park assault case. Please keep in mind before I get started that we have to be careful on how much we release and not to jeopardize this investigation at this time. Late last night, members of the Wichita Police Department SCAT units arrested a 26-year-old black male in the 2700 block of North Batten for the sexual assault case in Fairmont Park, which occurred on Friday, November 14, 2014. Late yesterday afternoon, the Wichita Police Department was able to link the suspect through evidence which was obtained by forensic nurses at Via Christi St. Francis. And ultimately, this information was analyzed by the Sedgwick County Forensic Science Center. Investigators believe at this time that the suspect and the victim had a random encounter at the park and the assault occurred a short time afterwards. The suspect has been booked into Sedgwick County Jail late last night for the following charges. Rape, attempted first degree murder, and the victim in this case is still listed in critical condition at Via uh, Christi St. Francis and investigators still have not been able to speak with her. Now this tragic and horrendous incident which occurred last Friday not only affected the victim but also the Fairmont Park neighborhood, Wichita State University, and the entire Wichita community. At this time the Wichita Police Department, the Wichita Fire Department, the Cedric County Forensic Science Center, and the district attorney's office are continuing this investigation. The Wichita Police Department has always had an obligation to protect this community and with the dedication and hard work of the men and women of the Wichita Police Department, the district attorney's office, the Sedgwick County Forensic Science Center, and the Wichita Fire Department, we will continue to not only solve this crime but others that may occur in the future. We would also like to thank Crime Stoppers and the community members who called in the tips. From my understanding, we had a number of tips that came in and we thank community members who get involved and give us information for cases. We'd also like to thank the business community who increased the reward amount, specifically Bud Rope Tow Service and the tow service company for stepping up the reward in this case. Also, Crime Stoppers was involved in the reward as well. That's all I have at this time. Again, this is a horrendous case. I have to be careful on what I release at this point. As far as any additional information, we do not want to jeopardize this case. Thank you. Can we ask a question, Chairman? That's fine. Well, again, that's still under investigation. You know, um, uh, the victim is still in critical condition at the hospital. We still have a number of interviews to do. So at this point, um, that's where we're at. 